Hey guys, Electronic Junkie here. This is an Arduino door sensor that I built for a custom home alarm system. Uh, it uses the Pro Mini, which has great battery life when it's properly modified. Um, the Pro Mini requires being programmed by the FTDI programmer. You have to solder a header on the header pins on the board. Uh, you can see that in the picture below. Um, the Pro Mini that I chose is a 3.3 volt um, I like this better than the 5 volt just because of power consumption. And I don't really have any other components other than the reed sensors. Um, it just got better battery life. It's It just seems to work a lot better than the 5 volt. So I highly recommend the 3.3 volt if you're going to get one. Um, one of the ways to communicate is using an RFM69. Uh, it's a wireless module that you can wirelessly communicate Arduinos together and you can build um, you can build a mesh network and or you can just have a gateway and you can have many nodes. Um, I'm setting it up to have a gateway with many nodes and I'll show another video later where I'm doing the gateway in the Raspberry Pi um, and then it sends out text messages to my cell phone when things get triggered by the door sensors. Um, the RFM69 has many frequencies that you can choose from. You better look at your country to find out what's legal and not legal. That's not my fault. I'm using the 433 megahertz frequency. It seems to work well in my household. Um, it penetrates walls really well. Um, I, I just like it. It seems to work well. It's, it's low powered. The RFM69 also has a high output module. Um, I don't recommend it for the purposes of this because you're going to probably want to be running on battery and the high output just consumes way too much battery, um, especially for a door sensor. It just doesn't make sense to me. I set this up so that every time the door sensors are opened or closed, the wireless sensor is going to send a signal to the gateway and then record it. Um, I'll also do another video later with like MQTT and how I actually set everything all up. Also, all the code and everything is in the description, um, so go ahead and take a look. I put it up on GitHub for you. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was that you can do the battery holders that hold the two AA batteries, and that works fine. Um, it's, it's a little wonky because you got to get a bigger case, but, I mean, it works, and it's better battery life, longer, longer time before you have to change the batteries. You also can get the uh, lithium battery, which is a little bit thinner. It's got less MAH, um, but it seems to work. And it's rechargeable. Um, you just have to add on a little add-on so that you can plug it in and, and give it a charge. But overall, I mean, it seems to work well, and I would, I would recommend that. I'm going to provide links in the description below for everything. So all the parts, everything I put together, it's in the description and where you can purchase them.